Abby Reed's doll. A doll doesn't need to be cursed, or possessed to give someone the creeps. It might just have a strange facial expression, or be missing body parts from years of moving around. Or it may have witnessed repeated acts of cannibalism. Such is the case with Patty Reed's doll. Patty, 8 years old, was traveling to California in 1846 with her family and other pioneers, a group known to history as the Donner Party. Halfway through their journey, the Reeds asked Patty to get rid of all her toys, and other unnecessary items to lighten the wagon's load. Though she complied, Patty managed to smuggle her beloved doll beneath her voluminous dress. The doll, along with the entire Reed family, miraculously survived their hellacious journey west and was able to enjoy a comfortable life in San Jose. Patty's doll is now on display at Sutter's Fort State Historical Park Museum in Sacramento, California. Patty and her doll's experience is so compelling that a children's historical fiction book was written about it in 1956 and has been educating kids ever since. The Devil Baby Doll New Orleans has a history rich with folklore and voodoo. Legend has it that during the 1800s, a daughter from an affluent family married a wealthy Scotsman. An angry, jealous ex-lover of hers sought revenge, and asked the Queen of Voodoo, Marie Laveau, for help. Laveau cursed the bride, a curse which came to fruition when the bride went into labor with her first child. The Puloyubin Barbie Barbie is arguably the most popular doll in the world. So popular, in fact, that a dead girl requested it purchased, for her from beyond the grave. At the beginning of World War I, the British mistrusted many foreigners in their colonies, and the British Army investigated one German couple in Singapore in 1914 as possible spies. The couple was caught, but their young daughter escaped, only to fall off a cliff and die. Joliet. For four generations, the women in Anna's family have been cursed to keep up a cruel tradition. Each daughter gives birth to two children, a boy and a girl. In each case, the son mysteriously dies on its third day of life. Anna's been told Joliet was given to her then pregnant, great-grandmother by a vengeful friend. Soon after, her great-grandmother gave birth to a boy, only to have it die on day three. Giggles and inhuman screams are heard in the night, coming from the doll. The family claims the cries of different infants can be heard, making the doll appear to be the vessel, for all the baby boys lost over the years. Letta the Gypsy Doll In 1972, Kerry Walton returned to his Australian hometown for his grandmother's funeral. During this time, he decided to face a childhood fear, by visiting an abandoned building, that had scared him for years. When he went to this house, he discovered an old marionette underneath its porch. Kerry felt compelled to take it home with him, and they've been together ever since. According to psychics, the doll was made 200 years ago, by a Romanian gypsy for his son who had drowned. The gypsies believed in spirit transference and dolls would act as a new home for the dead. <laughs>